G'day. In this video, we're going to take a look at using a serial to USB converter on the Groove Epic. By using this RS232 to USB converter, we're able to read in serial data via the Groove Epic USB port. Now to show how this works, I'm going to be using this Groove Epic Learning Center. It's great for learning more about Groove Epic or for doing proof of concept projects. You can get yours by visiting opto22.com. I'm also going to be using this GPS device that outputs an RS-232 data stream. To get your device details and to check it's ready to go, you first visit the Groove Manage home screen and then click on System and then Serial Devices. We currently show none, but if we plug in the converter, we will see one serial device is added to the list. Now what sort of converter can you use? Well it's important that it's an authentic FTDI device. And you can use an RS-232, RS-422 or an RS-485 converter. And if you need more than just two, you can use a powered USB hub to expand the number of converters that you can connect. Now once you plug the converter in, make a note of the device name and port number as we'll need them in a moment. What you want to do with your data will determine your next move. For example, you could send the serial data to a cloud service or to an MQTT broker via Node-RED, or you could use the serial data in a control program like PAC Control. Note that with both Node-RED and PAC Control, if you change the port the adapter is plugged into, you will need to change their configuration. So be sure and plug the converter back into the same USB port if you disconnect it for any reason. With that said, let's now take a look at how we set up each option. For Node-RED, we first create a new Flow workspace. Then we simply drag in a serial node into the workspace and to see its output, we'll use a debug node. Double click on the serial node to configure it. Type in the device name that you got a moment ago from Groove Manage and enter the baud rate, parity and stop bits. For my GPS device, it's going to be 9600, 8, none and 1. Connect the two nodes with a wire, hit deploy and you're done. You can now see your serial data flowing in the debug tab. Where you go from here will be determined by your application. Now for pack control, we first have to configure our COM handle. So here we are in configure mode, and from the strategy tree, right click on communication handle and select add. Now you can name the COM handle anything you like. I'm simply going to name it CH for COM handle, and then the name of the device, GPS. Next is the string that will set up the communication properties for the device. You first need the address of the device, so it's SER colon and then the port number you noted a moment ago from Groove Manage. After the port number, set the board rate and so on. So here in my case, the full initialization string is SER colon zero comma 9600 comma none comma eight comma one. For all the parameters that the COM handle can support, check out the PAC Control Users Guide. Now here we are looking at data coming from the GPS module. When it comes to programming the flowchart, there are lots of options and different ways to write the code depending on your application. For more information on how to do this, check out training.opto22.com. Till next time, cheers mate.